And there's a problem when a man is not showing you where he gets his money. Eventually you're gonna have to ask. There's a lifestyle that comes with it. And that's why her and Simon are always out the country. You might want to take a seat for this update. It's now confirmed that Portia and her husband Simon are headed for divorce, and it's shaping up to be quite a tumultuous split. Simon hasn't held back on social media, throwing significant shade Portia's way ever since the divorce announcement. Rumors are swirling that one reason for the split is Simon's impending deportation, following exposure as a scammer with multiple convictions for credit card and bank fraud. Adding to the drama, there's chatter that Portia is deeply concerned about the fallout, especially with her upcoming appearance on the next season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. She fears being heavily criticized as this divorce will likely dominate the storyline. He was saying Portia loves, and this is all she brags about, is the lifestyle. She wants the glitz, she wants the glamour, she wants the diamond, she wants to be able to brag about what she has. She doesn't give a f where it came from. She doesn't give a f where, where, where he's getting it from, as long as he spends it on her. Now let me tell you something, let me back up a little bit. Before delving deeper, let me provide some context. Because there's quite a backstory here, Portia and Simon first crossed paths in 2021 while filming Real Housewives of Atlanta. At that time, Simon was still married to his ex-wife, Fallon. However, they parted ways in April 2021, and shortly thereafter, Simon and Portia revealed they were romantically involved. Many speculated about the timing, suggesting Simon and Portia might have been involved before his marriage ended. Nonetheless, they swiftly progressed in their relationship. Just a month later, they were engaged, and by November 2022, they exchanged vows in a lavish ceremony at the Four Seasons in Atlanta. The wedding boasted a guest list of over 350 attendees, including Portia's co-stars Cynthia Bailey, Candy Burris, and Kim Zolchak Biermann. Their marriage seemed to be on solid ground with discussions about expanding their family. Simon has five children of his own and Portia has a daughter from a previous relationship. However, Portia has apparently changed her mind about having more children with Simon, leading to her decision to file for divorce after just 15 months of marriage. The suddenness of this decision surprised many, as just days before the divorce filing, Portia and Simon appeared to be happy. They spent Valentine's Day together and were even seen enjoying yacht outings. Moreover, Portia had recently announced her participation in the upcoming season of Real Housewives indicating a seemingly stable personal life. In a public announcement on her Instagram, Portia urged people to address her by her married name, indicating her happiness in her marital status. She adamantly denied rumors of Portia Williams returning to Real Housewives of Atlanta, asserting that Portia Gaddia was the one making a comeback. However, the sudden shift from flaunting her marriage to initiating divorce proceedings and separating from Simon has left many perplexed. Speculation is rife that recent events, particularly Simon's legal entanglements involving credit card and bank fraud charges, are at the crux of their marital breakdown. The revelation of Simon's criminal history, leaked by the popular gossip page All About the Tea through court documents, sent shockwaves across the internet. Allegations against Simon are serious and multifaceted. He's reportedly facing deportation due to charges including credit card fraud, bank fraud, identity theft, and allegedly entering into a fake marriage to secure a green card. According to court records, Simon first arrived in the U.S. in 1982 on a visitor's visa but overstayed his authorized period. His attempt to gain legal status through marriage to a U.S. citizen was rejected with authorities suspecting the marriage was a sham. Subsequently, Simon left the country voluntarily to avoid deportation. He returned in 1996 on a six-month visitor's visa but was arrested the following year for bank fraud, to which he pleaded guilty to felony charges. Despite this, Simon faced further arrests for fraud, including credit card fraud. In 1992, a judge issued an official order for his deportation the extent of these allegations has shocked many. Simon's journey to stay in the US took a convoluted turn when, after escaping deportation, he applied for temporary residency under a program called Special Agriculture Worker using a false identity upon his return to Nigeria. 
Concealing his criminal history, he obtained his green card through this program, allowing him to remain in the U.S. However, his troubles persisted. In 2016, he attempted to secure U.S. citizenship under this false identity, but his application was rightfully rejected due to the fraudulent nature of his temporary resident status. Undeterred, he made subsequent attempts in 2020 and 2023, all of which were unsuccessful for the same reasons as the initial denial. Simon's decision to pursue U.S. citizenship under a false identity proved to be a critical misstep, leading to an investigation that uncovered his extensive criminal history. While already holding a green card enabling his stay in the U.S., his attempt to naturalize using fraudulent means triggered scrutiny resulting in the revelation of his past offenses. Facing charges for these felonies, Simon now faces the grim prospect of deportation back to Nigeria with authorities likely to act swiftly in the coming months. Portia's swift decision to divorce Simon reflects her desire to distance herself from the escalating turmoil. According to the confirmation by popular Atlanta blogger Jesse Wu, known for his connections with numerous celebrities, Portia's primary aim appears to be avoiding further entanglement in the unfolding chaos. She likes money. And I remember sitting with our makeup artist, because at the time we shared the same makeup artist, and he was saying Portia loves, and this is all she brags about, is the lifestyle. She wants the glitz, she wants the glamour, she wants the diamond, she wants to be able to brag about what she has. She doesn't give a f where it came from. She doesn't give a f where, where, where he's getting it from, as long as he spends it on her. Now, let me tell you something, let me back up a little bit. Portia had been hiding and carrying this secret because there's a lifestyle that comes with it. And that's why her and Simon are always out the country. You ever notice that? They're always in Dubai. They're always in Mexico. They're always in Nigeria. She surprises him while he's in Nigeria because he's been having these issues for years concerning his green card. Now, I don't think she knew the extent of the issues because she's a dit. Portia's recent statement claiming that the divorce was staged suggests a strategic move on her part to protect her assets. According to Jesse Wu, Portia filed for divorce to ensure that her finances remain separate from Simon's to avoid any potential seizure by the authorities once he faces charges. This proactive approach aims to safeguard Portia's financial interests in light of Simon's legal troubles. On the other hand, Simon's behavior on Instagram indicates a different narrative. His comments hint at a possible retaliation against Portia, suggesting that she might have been involved in his fraudulent activities. Simon's statement, I will stop loving my wife when divorce is final, implies a lingering connection between them despite the divorce proceedings. Additionally, his response, yep, to a comment about the implications of his wife's criminal record on his immigration status suggests a complex and possibly contentious situation between them. There are differing speculations regarding the criminal charge Simon hinted at concerning Portia. Some believe it could be related to Portia's misdemeanor charge in 2014, while others suggest that both Portia and Simon might have been involved in fraudulent activities and faced charges together. The exact nature of the charges and their involvement remains unclear, adding to the intrigue surrounding their situation. According to Tasha Kay, Simon's hint about Portia's involvement in his fraudulent activities was indeed a suggestion that he might snitch on her. Tasha Kay revealed on her show that Portia was allegedly fully aware of Simon's activities, but was more interested in the lavish gifts and money he provided. Tasha Kay claimed to have insider information from a makeup artist who used to work with both Portia and Tasha Kay, suggesting that this artist revealed details about Portia and Simon's activities. The ongoing saga between Portia and Simon is undoubtedly a tangled web of drama that shows no signs of slowing down. With Simon's outspokenness on social media potentially putting Portia at risk, the situation could escalate further. Opinions vary widely among observers, with some suggesting that Portia may have been unaware of Simon's financial troubles and rushed into marriage under false pretenses of wealth and availability. Now that his financial situation has changed, she's swiftly pursuing divorce. 
Speculation about how Portia will be perceived by her fellow housewives in the aftermath of these revelations abounds, adding another layer of intrigue to the unfolding narrative. Another perspective suggests that Portia's announcement of her return to Real Housewives of Atlanta under her married name was merely a boastful proclamation as she now swiftly files for divorce. This viewpoint implies that her decision is unrelated to Simon's legal troubles, but rather a strategic move to distance herself from him as his situation worsens. It's portrayed as a self-preserving action, likened to jumping off a sinking ship to ensure her own safety. Portia's decision to file for divorce from Simon appears to be a strategic move to protect her assets and distance herself from his legal troubles. By separating their finances through divorce, Portia may be attempting to shield her wealth from potential seizure or legal entanglements related to Simon's charges and potential deportation. Her actions seem calculated to ensure her own security and stability in the face of a tumultuous situation. It does seem like Portia Williams and Simon are keeping the drama alive with their actions and social media posts. Portia's reported involvement with a married African man and Simon's frequent posts could indicate that they are both seeking attention or trying to make a statement to each other. Their ongoing public displays suggest that the situation is far from over and continues to unfold in unexpected ways. The speculation surrounding Portia's alleged relationship with a wealthy married African man whose name starts with the letter C adds another layer of intrigue to the ongoing drama. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, rumors suggest that this man, who reportedly doesn't have a social media presence, is married and has introduced Portia to other wealthy Africans. These rumors fuel the belief held by some that Portia and Simon's marriage was a sham, further complicating the narrative surrounding their relationship. A Portia's rumored association with wealthy and controversial figures such as the son of Teodoro Obiang raises eyebrows and invites speculation about her romantic choices. Some observers note a pattern of Portia being drawn to problematic individuals which adds fuel to the ongoing gossip surrounding her personal life. The mention of her travels to Nigeria and Dubai suggests a continuation of this trend with Portia allegedly taking notes for her own benefit. However, it's essential to approach such rumors with caution, as they may not always reflect the full truth of the situation. The speculation around Portia's alleged involvement with Teodoro Obiang, known for his controversial actions as the son of Equatorial Guinea's leader, adds a layer of intrigue to her dating history. The mention of a Rolls-Royce purchase and a house in Malibu, allegedly with misappropriated funds, paints a picture of extravagance and scandal. However, without concrete evidence, these claims remain speculative and should be viewed with skepticism. The narrative presented on the show and the subsequent discoveries regarding the house seizure further add to the drama surrounding Portia's personal life and choices in partners. The involvement of individuals known as the Machios in the sale of the Malibu house, allegedly at a discount, suggests a complex web of transactions and potential wrongdoing. This adds to the narrative of scandal and controversy surrounding Portia's past relationships. Regarding Simon, his representative's assertions about his financial status and legitimate business ventures, including real estate in Atlanta and Costa Rica, as well as an oil company linked to Nigerian oil, present a contrasting image. These claims suggest a level of financial stability and legitimate business dealings, challenging the narrative of his involvement in fraudulent activities. However, given the complexity and sensitivity of these matters, it's crucial to await further developments and verification before drawing conclusions. The mention of Simon's business Sim Petroleum Limited, being sued by NetJets Aviation Inc., adds another layer to the narrative surrounding his financial affairs. NetJets' lawsuit, reportedly for $800,000, highlights potential legal challenges faced by Simon's company. Sim Petroleum Limited's involvement in the oil industry, particularly in the U.S., raises questions about the nature of its operations and any potential legal or financial implications. These developments further contribute to the ongoing scrutiny and speculation surrounding Simon's business dealings and financial standing. The details of Sim Petroleum Limited's dealings 
with NetJets Aviation Inc., including the lease agreement for a share in a Citation aircraft, shed light on Simon's lifestyle and his use of private jets. This information suggests a level of financial capability that aligns with the lavish lifestyle previously associated with Simon and Portia. However, the legal dispute and financial implications underscore the complexities of Simon's business dealings and the potential repercussions on his financial stability and public image. On social media, inside the private jet, unaware that Simon was not meeting the required payments, the lawsuit stated that the defendants breached the terms of the program agreement by failing to pay plaintiffs all amounts due under the agreement in a timely manner. Plaintiffs terminated the program agreement under its terms on or about February 28, 2023. At the time of termination, defendants owed plaintiffs a significant amount. NetJet stated that out of the $974,900 owed in monthly installments with interest, Simcoe made the first installment payment of $25,000 but then failed to pay the second installment due on October 2nd, 2023. The lawsuit further stated that Simcoe has not made any additional payments since the first installment. NetJets demanded that Simcoe be ordered to pay the remaining $814,000 owed on the deal, plus interest. Additionally, NetJets asked for that Simon's company be ordered to pay its legal bills associated with the case. Additionally, representatives are insisting that Simon is not broke, that he loves Porsche, and that he was completely blindsided by the divorce filing. According to them, Simon was traveling out of the United States on business to sell a property he owns in Costa Rica. He left Porsche and everything was fine. He kissed her goodbye and everything. However, when he landed in Costa Rica, he read on social media like the rest of us that Porsche was divorcing him. It's also been reported that Porsche knew about Simon's immigration issues all along and was actually the one who pushed him to try and get everything resolved. This suggests that the theory that she divorced him just because she miraculously found out about his legal issues doesn't add up. Apparently, Porsche is also the one who leaked the divorce papers. Currently, the Fong County court document system is down due to a hacking incident, so Whoever got the documents would have had to go in person. I don't think any blogger would go through the trouble of going in person to get the divorce papers. It just makes more sense that someone leaked the papers and it's likely from Porsche's camp. So it's possible that Simon may have been blindsided. Have y'all been seeing what Simon has been posting on IG, baby? He needs to stop. First, it was Simon playing in the migration office's face with posts like, in the last 17 years, grateful for the opportunity to be able to grow our businesses, which in turn keep employing and feeding more American families and fueling the American economy. That's the real American dream when you bless others with opportunities. Another one he posted was, Happy Tuesday to all who ever overcame, persevered in life. You are winning. Hash 42 years living in America. Well, now he's just flexing. In one of his recent posts, he was like, thinking of getting my first electric automobile, the Rolls-Royce Spectra 2024, the first of its kind. What do you think? Should I purchase one? In another post where he showed off his fleet of cars, he was like, something is missing in this garage. Simon actually bought another car, but people are saying he probably paid someone to deliver it. Like he paid that Indian company to fake his net worth. Regardless, I'm not sure why anyone needs that many cars, and it's like the model of each car is so similar, especially the front end of the cars. I mean, maybe he's a collector, but even if Simon is a collector, shouldn't he be spicing it up a little? Anyway, those are not my cars. It's not my business. But how is he being sued by jet companies for non-payments? Did he manage to get another $400,000 Rolls Royce? I really don't know, y'all. But from Simon's more recent posts, he appears to have ditched his wedding ring. The way he's been posting like every eight hours, folks are saying that this is an insult to Portia. Is he trying to make Portia jealous or get her attention with all that posting? Child, somebody needs to snatch that phone from that man. Also, while his reps have been claiming that Simon is heartbroken, 
homeboy is out here living it up with another woman. I, I told you these two are just both a hot mess. Apparently Simon was spotted in a strip club throwing dollar bills all overdressed like he was in some sort of midlife crisis. And there was one particular girl that he reportedly was very close to throughout the night. Well, there are also people saying they wouldn't be surprised he paid this person he was seen with because he now knows how to manipulate the messy social media game. Thanks to Portia, other sources are also reporting that this woman could actually be a side piece that Simon always had. Again, Simon having a side piece is not surprising, considering he also had one while he was in the middle of breaking up with Fallon and officially getting with Portia. I'm saying officially because these two were definitely together secretly when Simon was with Falcin. Anyway, there's this girl, Jessica Harris, who spilled to the Jasmine brand that she had also allegedly been dating Simon since she met him in March 2021. Jessica said that through multiple text messages, Simon told her that he wanted to get to know her more and apparently left her with the impression that it would become something between them. He also allegedly mentioned that once his divorce was finalized, they could pursue an open relationship. However, Jessica was surprised to learn about his engagement to Portia. She also said that like many people have been saying, Simon has always been a fraud. How do you find love while you're over here whipping me around in that Ferrari going 100 miles an hour and my hair all over the place? Got me looking crazy in these pictures? How you do that, child? Between Portia allegedly dating another African man and Simon already flaunting his fleet of cars and dollar bills for his next American wife, both Portia and Simon are giving scammers, if you ask me. But what do you think? Was this marriage one big scam? Do you think Simon was blindsided by the divorce? And what are your thoughts on Simon and Portia allegedly seeing other people already? Drop those thoughts in the comment section below.